welcome to my channel. My name is Franka and today I show you a tutorial and a mini review of the Tom Ford eyeshadow quad. I have here the Coco Mirage and it's a really lux luxurious um, eyeshadow quad what you can use for a day-to-day -day, um, makeup application when you um, go to work or you study and you just want something beautiful which you can put on every day and don't have to worry that it's too much or that it doesn't look good. This is the look I created with this um, palette and um, there are only matte shadows with exception of, of one. This is a little bit of a satin um, finish but um, because it's matte you can use it for daytime and you can also apply some um, highlighter color for example in the inner corner or on the brow bone and intensify it a little bit more with the darker brown you're good to go for an evening so you can take this um, quad with you um, on your day and um, put a little bit more on for the evening it will last all day and um, yeah I enjoy it very much and I think it's also okay the, for the price because it's really expensive it costs $85 on Sephora you get 10 grams of product in Germany it's like 76 uh, euros on Douglas but sometimes you get 20% off and um, I have other eyeshadow quads where there's half of the product inside and it costs $50 so I think um, the price is okay because the shadows are really fantastic they blend like a dream and if you want to know um, how they blend and how the application goes then just keep on watching this tutorial okay so now we start with the application i will use my most loved brushes because when you have such a high-end eyeshadow quad you want to use some good brushes you don't need to but it's nice i have here the brushes from wayne goss it says brush set it retails for 130 dollars in uh, i bought it from beautylish and um, you get five brushes and if you have small eyes like me, it's really nice to work with this. So I start with the application. I just primed my eyes with a little bit of paint pot. And now I will just go in directly in this white color here and set the uh, primer. So it's, it's a bit powdery. Uh, it's a bit powdery. Oh wait, first I have to make sure that there is no creasing because it was a few minutes ago when I applied this um, primer and now it creases. So, okay, I just apply this and directly under the brow bow. And you can see it's a really nice um, white, off-white color and um, that helps the other eyeshadow to glide on top a bit better and I would always recommend you this. So we start with a nice daytime look and then build it up to a nighttime look that you can really see um, how the colors work. So first I, I took this brush number 16, it's the biggest brush for the white color. Then I go in the a little bit smaller brush it's the number 70 and I go in this color here and I apply it above my crease because I have so hooded eyes it's better for me to apply it a little bit above because otherwise you don't see anything of the eyeshadow oh yes and you can see directly it's such a beautiful color it's so neutral you can really emphasize your eye contour it with these colors and um, it's never too too much and they blend like a dream and um, yeah if you want to splurge and um, you ask yourself if they are really worth the splurge, I would say definitely yes, because you get a lot of product inside. I have this now, I think, for two years. I use a lot of stuff, but I, I come back to this and um, I really like it. 
So like this. You can always build it up. And I take it like just underneath my, my brown bow. I leave it just um, one, two millimeter. I go in, back in the color, in the white color. And I take this as a brow bone highlight. So now to emphasize my um, crease a little bit or to make it a little bit higher, <clears throat> I go in a very small brush. I take the very small brush, the number 20. And I go in the color in, also I have to say, <clears throat> the colors are all matte. With the exception of this, this is like a little bit of a satiny finish, but uh, no shimmery. So I go in this color. Oops, tap off axis, and then I focus on the outer edge and go a little bit higher. As you can see, this is really pigmented. Yeah, I go back with the with the brush before I used before, and I just take it a little bit here, a little bit on the inner corner. Yeah, also I I blend it inwards. <laughs> so. So, yes, this is nice. So, and you can leave it here, or you can even intensify it. I move on with the other eye. Make sure that the color is, when you open your eyes, that you can see it. But with a really light hand. And then just blend it. And the colors blend so nice and it's really cool. So now I just go and um, put on a little bit of a coal. You can use any... Um, brown or black one it depends if you want to do a nighttime or a daytime look for daytime i would recommend you use a use a use a brown it's not so intense and it will look a little bit better so wait i hold my eye because my i have loose skin so you can also do this step only with the eyeshadow but when you do it like this it will last all day and it's super cool for a business look and um, it's not too much. So then I go with a really small pen, um, pen, uh, pencil brush <laughs> like this and I go in the deepest color here in this brown one. And it's really matte. And with this I just um, uh, set the, <laughs> the kayak. The coal. So. You can also tight line, yeah. It's like it's a little bit like tight, like tight lining. I just emphasize the upper lash line with this um, coal, and um, now I set it. So, okay. I don't do a wing because I think a wing doesn't fit for my eye shape. And uh, it doesn't work because my skin is loose. It comes here over the eyelid. So if you have also struggled with this, better don't do a wing. Just line your upper lash line. It, it's fine. It um, will look so much better. And then I take the same and I do it on the lower lash line, but very light-handed and only on the outer. Um, yeah, yeah, just till the middle yeah not not so not the whole eye to the middle of your pupil and if the line is a little bit too big don't worry you can always take a q-tip 
and just remove the um, the excess. So again, I go in with the with the small brush and the darkest color from the palette. And I will set it. This is like my really like my go-to look uh, for business. This is really good. Um, mm -hmm. I go with um. Wait, maybe with what I want. Yeah, with this small brush, with which we used for this, I go and I take this color here, the light brown, <laughs> and I go underneath the eye. Then again, I go in this color here. And I go a little bit down and a little bit up just to blend everything together. And then you can look, is it even or not? And you can just Blend a little bit more <laughs> if you need to. So, so what I do next, I take a Q-tip and just go a little bit underneath my eye if there is a little bit too much. So, then I take this, um, it comes with a little thing like this and I go in the white color for a daytime look now. I go in the white color and I just put it on my eyelid. You see how pigmented this is? It's really incredible. Especially for the eyelid, it's really good. It's really, really good. So now again, I I don't want to go too far to the outer edge. Wait, uh, yes. Then I go to the other one. Wait, I must do it like this because my eyelids are too small. Oh. Yes. And then if you if if you put a little bit too much white, you can also go back here. Now I only put on mascara and I'm good to go. But if you want to emphasize it a little bit more for an evening look, you can just deepen up the outer edges with the darker color. With this one here. And this will work very good. So I will use my mm, a nude liner for my waterline. So, and what you can also do, so now you can apply some shimmery colors here on the inner corners and on the brow bone, or you can apply the, the white color here also underneath your eye. If you don't want to use shimmers, you can also do it like this. It's also very beautiful. And then you're really good to go for a daytime look because this you can wear in the office, it's not too much. It's really light and um, yeah, I enjoy this very much because it lasts also the whole day. So, and it's nice to work with. You can put this in your bag. It looks very beautiful. And uh, yeah, this is a really cool thing. So now I put on just a little mascara and I uh, created this look. And um, yeah, I hope to see you next time if you like the video. Please give it a thumbs up and um, please comment if you want to know 
uh, if you want to see the other eyeshadow quads, I have also this Orchid Haze. This is this um, lilac uh, purpley shades. This is really nice. They have also shimmers. And yeah, if you want to see that, if you want to see a mini tutorial of this, then um, just comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye.